Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Klaus, this is my house, and we're back here today with some Mo and uh, I just want to say, I found this thing over here, the secure chest. Uh, so apparently you can place whatever you want in there, and uh, it shows up in all cities. Uh, and it uses the same stuff, you know, like it can't be stolen or, or anything like that. I don't know how much I trust it, um, but yeah, that is a thing. So that's, that's good to know. Yeah, I already talked to a lot of these people, so I'm not super worried about it. Um... I am, however, interested in, like, alchemical stuff. Uh, I guess we could eat some of this stuff to, like, try and figure it out. I don't know how much weight I have in here. I don't think it's a whole lot, but, I mean, stuff like this. This is definitely going to add up to a few pounds, so might be something to check uh, just, just doing you that. Your accent is so funny. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not from here, kid. Also, this guy's got the same name as the other kid, Salas. Kind of, kind of weird if you ask me. Was it the actual? Tammy, what's this? Have you heard? Nerum has been united again. Yeah, your eyes are the leader crazy. must be a monster. They say he's crucifying priests and burning down temples. Jeez. Oh, I'm not surprised that the gods have turned their backs on them. They all have these crazy last names. I'm not sure what to think about it. Is your last name Manson? May your path mm, always Manson. be even. Close, close, close. All right, let's go see what's going on with the uh, the mayor's wife. Maybe we can do some helping and stuff. I got a couple of other little quests uh, that were added in there, as well as a bounty. So it'll kind of be interesting to see what uh, hmm. what happens. You're not from Riverville, are you? Nope, what I am do you not. Want? I heard that your wife is sick. Your eyes are red, dude. You should probably lay off that piece. <sighs> is that so? Yep. What does that have to do with yourself? Dude, I'm just here to help, man. Might be able to help. Hmm. How noble of you. But how do I know you're not a quack? I know nothing about you. I know nothing about myself. Um, uh, I really do understand a thing or two about magic. Maybe I could help your wife. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm not going to ask twice. I'm going to be a little abrupt with this guy. Yes. It's probably better that way. Are you for real? Are you fucking serious right now? You again? Listen. I'm really busy. Ugh, I can't hmm. help. All right, then. I suppose it can't get any worse than it already is. Come, let's go upstairs. Well, you changed your tune really quickly. Um, if I was to take these, those would be stealing, right? Uh, ooh, I'll read that. Maybe this will have some things. No things. I don't think this is the same as, like, uh... I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. You don't gotta worry about me taking all your things. Steel books. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Oh my god, you got a lot. This guy's got one hell of a house. He, mu he must love reading. Uh, okay. I guess I will sit in this chair since you look like you're gonna take that one. Well then, let's keep this short. For three moons now, Matilda has been hearing voices. Sometimes during the day, sometimes at night. There is no pattern. According to what she told me when she was still lucid, the voices seem to come from the sea. And it's a mixture of pleading, screams, and weeping. Huh, so she's hallucinating. Maybe so. Or maybe it is some kind of a ghost, or a magical anomaly. Only Malthus knows. Since the night she first heard the voices, however, her health has been worsening. At first she lost her appetite, then she started vomiting. To make things even worse, she now has a fever that gets more dire by the minute. Father hmm. Vildas is clueless, and even the two apothecaries who quickly passed through the village said they don't know what's wrong with her. She has even stopped recognizing me lately, and talking to her has become impossible. I... I don't want to lie, stranger. I just don't know what to do anymore. If it keeps going like this, Matilda will not see the turn of the year. Um, and only she is hearing these voices, right? Yes. And the times when she hears them are her only waking moments. She then starts screaming on and on, flailing around as if the Black Guardian stood before her. Yeah. It's horrible to see her like that. My brother Meldor is a traveling arcanist, 
and has already examined the house for magical anomalies, all to no avail. Whatever causes these voices, it only affects her. Um, so yeah, what, what did they say? No. According to what she said to me when she was still lucid, they are just a babble of voices, and a horrible one at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you don't know what the hell any of this has got to do with anything, do you? No, not in the least. You know, Matilda is such a good person. If it is a ghost that has possessed her, then it must be a cruel one who only wants to see her in pain. And if it's a disease... That Malthus shall be damned for making her suffer like this. I, I'm sorry. I should not have said that. I. <sighs> okay. Uh, we'll see if we can find out what's causing us. Do you know any idea where to start? Mm, you. Maybe it helps if you were there for one of these seizures. I don't feel comfortable about it, but if it could help, we have to give it a try. Fair enough. Let's do it. Just come back in a few hours' time. It hasn't been too long since she had the last one. Give me a moment with her until then, all right? My brother Melder will let you in once it's time. Okay. So I guess I just... Ah, there we go. What's up, dude? Ah, hello. You're the visitor Jugar told me about, right? The Outlander? Yep. Well, as ready as we can be. As Dugar probably told you, the seizures happen arbitrarily, but more often around this time. Come, follow me. I'll be waiting. Farewell, so, and travel safely. What time is it? Three, While I do appreciate your endeavours, I'm a little sceptical as to what good it will do. Whatever is wrong with Matilda is not ordinary. Hmm, but I suppose some chance is better than none, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. I guess I will take a seat and witness what the hell is going on. They're busy. You have a visitor, Juga. Thank you, Meldor. And thank you for not changing your mind. It could happen any minute now. Just yeah, take I'm a seat just... and wait. And I warn you, this is not going to be pleasant. <sighs> oh, Matilda. No, please. I... No. Oh, and here we go. You go. They are coming. They are coming back. No, 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 no. Please don't. You mean, dude. you heard the voices? What are you? Some kind of medium? I have no idea. I'm probably not a medium. I'm probably like a, a large at minimum. But throwing that out there, didn't need to know that. Um, had these visions. Hard to explain. Does the name Pentus mean anything? Um, yeah, let's do this and just say I have these weird visions. Pentus? I, I don't know, but... We went by her uh, house earlier. Don't you remember? Oh, his the one house. who collaborated with the brigands and was killed when he tried to resist the arrest. Ah, yes, of course. And his companion drowned herself afterwards. Poor thing. But I don't understand. What, by the righteous path, does that have to do with Matilda's sickness? I don't know, dude, but something all them tells leads. you this, I see. Hmm. If the circumstances were any different, I would take you for a quack, trying to win my favor. But you seem honest, and I shouldn't leave anything untested. Meldor, where was that fisherman's house again? I have a map. I have also been there. Yeah, of course, brother. If Pentus really has anything to do with this, you should take a look at his old house. It should be abandoned. And All excuse right. me, both of you. I, I need some time for myself. All right, let's do this, dude.
Here, this is the map. His house isn't far from the village, but you should be careful nonetheless. I don't need to tell you that the animals have grown savage recently. This red madness, or whatever they call it. Sure. Um, ooh, knowledge. Let's do that. You're an arcanist? This holy order, by the gods, you really do have Outlander written all over your face. But no, I am not. That's what he said, though. I have, as all the magically gifted have, passed the walk to the water. But I didn't qualify to become a keeper or a magister. And to be honest, I didn't want to either. Okay, interesting. Um, so you're either a wild mage or a keeper. What does that make you then? A free arcanist, as are many others. But with all due respect, I think we should save the talk for later. Matilda's condition gets worse by the minute. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, reconvene at a later date. I got my knowledge from you, and apparently that's all that matters, because, hey, good stuff. I'm saving like a mother trucker these days. I I limited the game to uh, 60 frames per second, so hopefully, um, hopefully we're, we're okay. Someday I'll go to the and I'm thinking about even dropping it to 30. So huge and shiny uh, also, we should probably go uh -huh. check out some of this other stuff, yeah? Um, oh, that's pretty far out of town. That's that cave thing, kill the guy, uh, and then Penta's house. Penta's house, um, we can go do that later. I think this is going to be a longer quest. These are pretty easy, right? Like, go kill this dude and go find this thing. The Ark? This Ark. I guess this is the big one. All right, let's go for it. My sir? I don't know if I'll be able to get back up over my there. My, my sir? Mister. Mister. Was oh, this another thing I can get? Nope, it's not. You look it looks real pretty though. All right. Once again, we search for our high ground, and we get it. <laughs> Skyrim climbing is so broke. <laughs> I feel like I'm an expert rock climb already. You know, like when you when you just do stuff like this, it just makes it seem so unfair. I mean, that is obviously the place where we gotta go. Wow, that was uh, kind of bad. All right, let's rush in here and do this. There we go. Uh, so what do you got on you? Rat skin. Nothing. That's pretty much what that means. Oh, alright. Buried cellar. Again, let us save, and we shall go cave diving as it white. was a thing. I mean, I'm hearing people talk. Does he somehow have these rats trained? That's that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. That these rats kind of know what's going on. So nothing back here. Well, I mean, we got some some shrooms. There's a lot of different kind of mushrooms in this game. Which I'm not really surprised about. Necessarily. We seem to be on the right path. Come on. 
Oh! My fighting is so bad. Alright, we're getting closer and closer and closer. We just got out of combat, so we can go ahead and we can probably eat something. We'll go ahead and eat our bread. And we will also save because... Frost issues. I have so many because of this game. Oh yeah, Mud Morals. I forgot about you. Alright. We could interact with that and probably turn it off. I feel you, dude. You're somewhere close. <laughs> now look at that. A lonesome traveler. Some folks just never learn. There we go. What? That's all you've got. <laughs> There we go. Why are we so badass? I don't know. I mean, we could just really could uh, just run through this whole damn thing. Um, which we might as well do. Oh, there's a thing back here, right? Going, going over this way? Or is this where it came from? I think that's where it came from. I'm a loony. Deeper into the cave we go. I gotta say, the um, this whole system is actually quite nice. But ha see, how did they get in here? You know, all things considered. Some folks just never learn. Where the fuck did you come from? What? That's all you've got. I mean, you say that to me, but you're getting fucking wrecked, girl. Like the fight to flee. Dude, have fun punching me with your fists. Just a scratch. There we go. And I will take all of your things. I guess we probably could have just gone in here. Uh, to begin with, take a bucket now. I will take an apple. Lost brigand. Yeah, we'll read that and we'll also take it. Um, so again, the uh, the people in this game are just as stingy as those in Skyrim. They don't give you a whole lot for your goods, but uh, the fact is they give you something, so that can't be bad. I mean, this guy's back in here. He's he's uh, you know at best at best he's He's pretty finished at this point. Again, quick saving just because I am not going to deal with it today. Right, he's through that door. Wrong time, wrong place. You're in the wrong time at the wrong place, dude. Have fun not living. Good night. There we go. We've done it. Cool. Uh, so we've got all that. Oh, and he has an amethyst too, so that'll be nice to sell. I'll take you as well. And uh, yeah, those look like a thing. Empty wine bottles I'm, I'm less uh, interested in. We'll take that cabbage. And uh, yeah, oh, so we can probably finally cook some of the stuff that we've got. Uh, they cook foodstuffs to make it more effective. We're going to need several ingredients. Um, basic foodstuffs or salt. Uh, cooked food saturates... This is such a weird word, but yeah, saturates you longer. Or it generates more stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and do some of that. We'll... Go over there and roast some of that. We'll do some roasted rabbit's foot. I think we got another salmon thing, right? So there we go. We've uh, we've cooked some stuff, and the nice part about it is that we actually get experience from it. That's 
a, a, just a really, really nice, uh, a nice touch there. I don't know, it just makes it worthwhile doing, you know? I think in, in certain circumstances, it just, I don't know, like for Fallout, it just didn't make sense to me, you know? Oh, nice. Uh, blessed Leather Gauntlets. We'll take all that, and shit, we'll take all that. We'll also take your bread, your other shite, a lantern, I guess. Is that really it? There seems to be something. Oh, no. Nope, that was it. Okay. So we can leave here, and uh, and find our way back to that cave that we gotta go in for the other lady. Oh yeah, save it. What am I doing? One good thing happens and I forget to save. Hopefully that gets fixed uh, fairly soon. I mean, I I'm all for bugs and stuff like that. I, I get it. Uh, it's not easy, especially as like a volunteer team to go doing all this stuff. The fuck is that noise? Uh, but yeah, the, the constant, the constant crashes were not fun. All right, cool. All right, and we got an auto save, so I don't gotta do it. All right. And then there's something. Well, I guess that's a thing right there. You could always go there and say hello. I forget what the reward on his head though. I, I think it was like 180 gold. Which, which ain't too bad. What the fuck is that thing? That's something that's not friendly. I mean, it's probably friendly, but... Nope, that's fair. Young brown bear. We'll fight it soon enough. I think. There we go. It is catching on to me. Also fighting something else. Why do they always do that? There we go. Come back here, you bastard. Well, I think I picked health. It's so shitty how it does that to you. Uh, I guess I should bring up the point that I um, I bought some books in town, and I leveled up my one-handed and my heavy armor, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Also, handicraft I got going up. Um, I think I have until 25, and then I got to stop using the apprentice ones, uh, which which aren't really that bad. All in all, where was the thing? Oh, it was just the bridge. I got confused. All right, so let's figure out where we're at. Um, uh, we're kind of heading to this tower, which is in the opposite direction of where we need to go. So let's go across the uh, across the old river again. In fact, we might be able to if I get lucky. Oh shit! Who thought I would be so lucky? Why does it want me to do that? I, I've already gone into there. I don't think these, uh, these use, I want to say, I, I don't think they use learning points, but still, I mean, I'm just going to use magic basically never, so I don't really see a reason why I should, holy shit, dude. From you. From you. Lucky. There we go. It was anything but a lucky hit, 
and it was all about me being a total badass. And you suck it so bad. Are oh, we got some potions and stuff? Oh, hey. Some arcane encyclopedias. We'll take that for, for later use. Not a bad little outfit they got going on up here. Let's see if we have anything um, good for us. So, magic, not really interested. Uh, we get some more more iron armor, but again, nothing that we're really anything that we're really needing. Um, so let's go ahead and probably drop some of this because these bastards are heavy, and we are definitely over by 20. So let's drop that, and we'll drop that, and we'll drop that. So we'll just keep one of them which is the one that we're wearing. And then up here somewhere should be a mine, right? Uh, Let's do that, because I never trust these little outposts. If you're not by a city, there's probably someone that's not nice here. Yeah, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with your bees. What's that? Oh, hell yeah. Who doesn't love honey? There can't be anyone bad here, right? Oh, it's an abandoned honey farm. Oh, motherfucker! There we go. Well, hopefully we get something nice out of that. I was a little bit worried about those. When I see something like that coming at me, I'm like, ooh, I am about to die. Thank goodness that didn't happen, though. Oh, nice. I kind of forgot about those. Little magical skills. I, I don't know what they do. I also take your bee in a jar. Crate? Oh, nice. You got stuff in you. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff back in here. And I'm not being weighed down, so that's that's a good thing. I'm not even worried about the sacks. I guess that the question uh, arises of, of whether or not we should go into here, and I, I kind of think we should. We'll probably find some more enemies. Fucking shit! I think we saved him, all right? Oh, you're empty. Well, we're not in battle anymore, so... At least we can heal up. Um, that would have been really, really bad had we um, we tried to do, I guess, anything like that earlier on in the game. So I mean, I want to think that we're okay here. more. Oops. Nope. It was definitely in the middle of those. Like right there, maybe. Perfect. Yeah, and the fact that lockpicking doesn't necessarily help you out uh, in, in raising levels for lockpicking is kind of problematic in and of itself. There we go. Just sounds like there's a thing. I wonder what the Vatir is. Oh. Oh. Not even worried about that.
There we go. Oh, wow. Good thing we came up here. Arcane Axe of Wrath. What is that? Mana Potion. Cheap. I'll take the cheap ones. I guess we got some more uh, stuff over here as well, right? So it does five per, uh, points of shock damage to health and half as much to mana. That's actually really good. Iron War Axe. Is that any better? I mean, it seems so, but it doesn't have the enchantment, which I really, really like. Uh, but I'm going to have to... Oh, I mean, if you're doing left to right, then let's do that. All right. Oops. All my stuff. All right. Let's take this. We'll favorite it. And we're going to unfavorite these. Do I have anything that's weighing me down? Like a whole bunch? We're only over by one. So it's not too bad. Oh, Vagrant Dress. Yeah, let's get rid of this shit. It's not worth anything. Oh, no. This is a two-handed <laughs> weapon. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. There we go. Uh, so we'll favorite this one and unfavorite that one. That's unfortunate. I should have noticed. But noticing is not my strong suit. I'll take that tome. We'll get a carrot. I'll take the bear pelt. Ooh, and a book. Talk about the powdered desert. I'll take it. And we'll sell it. Like we do with all the other things that we take. There's nothing on this table. Yeah, it's just a plate. Okay. I thought it was a book. That would have been uh, an opportunistic grab. Yeah, go over here. Sorry, dude. The Heartland. Well, I do like how it changes the name, right? Like, we're in the Heartland. I kind of want to sleep. How far away are we from this thing? We are very close. Clear water cave, eh? I mean, one would expect... Yeah, we can't do anything. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't actually seen the moon in this game at all. But now... The cave is probably up there, right? So let's be strapping young lads and run across the river. Let's stay on the road, but I feel like that's dangerous. Yeah, it's right there. What's up, wolves? Have fun with that. You're just a hungry wolf. Oh, yeah, you would be empty because you're hungry. Hey, nothing in your belly. do that because we we've survived so that's an important endeavor where the fuck is this cave oh it's over here oh and there's a vine root oh oh let me back up this is an important endeavor to get this vine root I can't believe I walked right past it did not even realize there we go give me some of that Give me some of that. Wow, literally walked right by. Alright, so that's where we gotta go. What's in the backpack? Chain gauntlets. That's not too bad. Not good enough for us to wear it, but not too bad. Alright, let's save it just because anything we do in this game, anything important, we gotta save it. Got to. You wanna go? I think that actually is very, very effective. Let's take these potions. Um, I learned that ruined books mean nothing and are worth nothing, so we don't need to take that. And I think we have a pickaxe, so I'm not particularly worried about it. Get 
these muskrooms. I gotta go ahead and eat a couple of my uh, alchemical ingredients. Holy shit. Uh, I guess we try up first, right? That would make sense. More potions. A lot of potions in this part. Find some food, so that's good at least. And uh, we could go across, but I'm interested in going down. There we go. Oh yeah, it definitely does some burn damage on him. Aw, oh, you bastard, you got me. There we go. Ugh, and that bow pushed us over the edge, I would imagine. Uh, brittle longbow, right? That's less than this one. Yeah. Let's drop that. Uh, this war axe. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. And it's just a plain one. If it was enchanted, I'd probably keep it around just because it might be worth a little bit more. Uh, but at this point, definitely not really worth it. Alright, we're, we're delving deeper and deeper into this that place. Oh shit. Scroll of Adusi's Key. I definitely don't know what that is. Um, yeah, this stuff is also worthless, except for that book. I guess we keep going. I mean, it's kind of pointing me in the direction of, of in there. So we'll probably just go across the bridge, yeah? That's definitely where we don't need to be. So let's maybe look at our map, right? Yeah, we gotta go deep. Deep into the cave. Oh, motherfucker. That's probably what's so difficult. Oh! Wait, so if that's there... I did not even see those at all. Wow, so we can't get up, which means we basically have to go down. Which means I missed something. There's a thing, maybe? Nope. Not even there. So the question is, what did I miss? If I missed anything, which it doesn't look like I did. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Because if you told me yes, I would believe it. That just looks like the pathway to death. And I doubt it would be something crazy as like, oh, we gotta go down this weird thing and... Does that seem like a thing to you? All right. I guess I walked past it. There's this thing. And there's that one. And I have been unsuccessful at finding either one of those. Let's see. So I am pointed around. So that means they're over here. Right. And this way is wrong way. Yeah. That way is definitely wrong way. And as much as I want that to be it, that's not it. Right, so I'm looking at that one. That one's not it. So I gotta go around a little bit more. Who would have seen that? Definitely not me. And it looks like there's almost another one. Like right, right there. Oh, I see that one. Oh, actually... Hey, I'm here. Yeah, you want to mess with this? No, you're too smart. I'm going to make you mess with this. Oh, I'm hidden? I 
think that one missed it. <laughs> that rat was not feeling that. Oh, all right, cool. So quick save. We'll get ourselves some more food. Uh, carrot should. Eh. Anya would definitely be good. Long, long dated health regeneration out of combat. Uh, 11 points. That seems like a lot. Uh, we definitely... Come on, give me... I thought we cooked our rabbit's foot. Ah, there we go. Roasted rabbit's foot. Yeah, let's do that. That is a lot of health for a lot of time. Yeah, we probably didn't even need all that. Let's see. So we got some options. We could go further in, which I think is what we should do at first. Yeah. Nothing over here. But this way gives me an interesting, uh... Ah. I see what's going on here. I wonder. Are you going to come on down here? Oh, that is not what I wanted. Do they literally, like, give up on me? Damn. Okay. Well, that totally did not work the way I wanted it to. Which is fine. I'll just go in here and make this dude pay. What's up, dude? Yeah, these little these little hunting axes or whatever are not gonna not gonna do those guys well at all. I'll take the bone meal. Mud morals, mud morals. Those are like the things that I don't have. <laughs> the fuck is that? Oh, that's just an archer one. There we go. Just strafe him. Literally cannot handle me. Uh, and we'll just take the arrows off of that guy. Let's get some more mud morals. And this one probably just has an axe, yeah. Oh, it's a hatchet. I apologize. There's so many iron arrows, it would be... Probably a smart idea to uh, get something else. I know we're going the wrong way, but you know what they say for exploring. Oh shit. Uh, I do have a magic thing, right? This hopefully is not gonna... So, yeah. Um, not as cool as I thought. Uh, shit. I am not really ready for like a full on fight. There we go. Yep, yep, stop paying attention to me. Ah, uh, he's coming. He's right there. The things these guys are stupid. Oh, good. And, ah, nice. So, that rabbit leg is still working for me.
perfect. I could not have asked for that to go any better. So there's definitely a lot of weird stuff going on here. It's really hoping those, uh... oh god. What have I walked into? I don't know if I want to know. I kind of think we should just get the thing. Yeah, let's go get the thing, because I, I have a feeling we're going to keep cave diving for days if we keep going. Which is not a bad thing. Also safe. Oh, that's a... That was a trap that way. This was also kind of a trap with the oil there, but... No one here is using magic. Alright, let's see what we got. More of these fleshless ones, which I'm not really ever worried about. It's, it's kind of hard to be concerned with someone that literally falls apart after a couple of hits. You don't hit that hard either. Leaks. Take your potato, I will take your bread, I'll take your carrot. And I have somehow also started carrying too much. I must have grabbed something and not realized it. Oh. Uh, increase heavy armor skill point by 5. One-handed attacks do 3% more damage. Increase your health by 8 points. Fuck yes. Totally worth that. Totally worth that. Um, Alright, so we gotta find some, some heavy stuff. Yeah, that's our stuff. Oh! We can get rid of one of these. So goodbye. And let's go with all of our all of our items now. I get the pickaxe. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, we could drop a war axe, which we might as well do. Yeah, because like everything below, it's still worth a decent amount. In fact, these are actually no, they're more. Those are more in terms of weight to value. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll drop that. And our uh, our potion is right here. Fucking ass. Nope. It doesn't matter. I don't use magicka, so goodbye. Iron Sword of Flames. Okay, it does five points of fire damage. Uh, hit targets, start burning, and take damage over time. Oh, fair enough. Give me that shit. Uh, drink the elixir and smash. Put the elixir. Um, dude, uh, we're just not gonna fuck with it. And I uh, once again too heavy. Oh, that's a thing. Uh, each one is five, so we should probably just drop one, right? That'll that'll do it. Summon battle axe. Yeah, I get it. We should just drop one of these long bows or an iron axe. There we go. Well, oh, there ain't no exit there. What an aura thief actually is. It almost seems like a, uh, a magical manifestation of something that's actually real. But is it? Is it? I guess it's. I guess it's a creature. It's not like a physical being. Oh, wrong way. And there, done that. I just want to get out of here. Yeah. Can't believe I missed that. Oh, I guess that's easy to miss. I think if I was just going up on there, yeah. Alright. And it's dark in here. We should turn my brightness up or something. Until stuff like this happens and it's just like overwhelmingly bright. When it's super bright outside, I think it's like in the middle of the night or something. And we'll figure it out. See, like, burned into my screen how bright it is. This better not fucking crash on me, I swear to god. Good. And it's auto saving. That's what I want to see. Yeah, so why was it so bright? Damn, that is a big moon. It's a pretty moon, but it's a big one. Let's just be too legit to quit and fast travel our ass back. 
No. There is no such thing as fast traveling, which is, let's be honest, pretty badass. The badassery is real. Is the mine here? I am skirting around it. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be up here. What's up, doggies? Good night, Hungry Wolf. Look, there's only one of you? You guys normally travel in packs, right? Give me. Oh! Stupid thing. I'm trying to get these. There we go, fireflies. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a firefly. Giving me the fireflies. Oh, what? There we go, we got ourselves a moth. We're just getting all the things. I swear, when this episode's over, I'm just gonna eat everything in my possession. Where are you? Oh, hi. You can't get away from me. None of you can. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm gonna get myself into trouble. I'm literally not looking where I'm going, I'm just grabbing fireflies. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna go that way. I think, I think that's down here. Yep, I am, I am remembering all the things. And this is where we came originally, and we went up on there. Uh, now, I guess this is the interesting part. Is uh, are we going to have to take the fall? And should we take the fall? Nope, we don't have to. Fair enough. Alrighty. And we find ourselves back. Oh, what's that? Detention cells. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to do that. We ain't in trouble. All right, so we can go back to here at least with the, with the bounty dude. And uh, we got 180 coins, so that's nice. We got 150 experience for that, so that's good. You, sir, are drunk. A foreigner, huh? What a surprise. Don't act so fucking sober right now, dude. You are smashed. What is this? The general store. Does me interact? Yeah, there is no interacting with that. Who are you? What'd you just say? Jerk. Can we actually go in the store? Is there actually a front door? Oh, it must be on the other side. Where I am not. Yeah, right here. This makes a whole bunch of sense. Uh. Oh, it is locked. Good dudes. Any news? Any news? Aye. Many and hardly any good ones. The streets are swarming with highwaymen and brigands these days. More than I've seen in all the years I've served now. What's happening to this world, I wonder? Shit. Seems everyone is eager to go at each other's throats. It's a shame. Alright, well thanks, dude. We probably need a bed, right? I don't really know of much else that we could do. Steal some chickens, maybe. Um, in terms of beds, though, I I honestly don't know where to go. Because we would need to find an inn. That's not a door. The drunken bee. There we go. Got ourselves an inn right here. Oh, and we've successfully made it through an episode without any crashing. I'm loving it. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. I'm actually kind of, uh... I don't think I want to gamble. I mean, this is pretty sweet, though. Straight up gambling dudes over here. They 
Damn, this place is alive. This is scandalous. How? Who told you this? The Miller's wife. She knows someone who knows someone whose fifth cousin worked at the inn that night. Huh. Well, if she said it, it must be true. Sad to see what men have become these days. On the surface, they pray each day, do their work, and honor the righteous path. But if you look away for just one second, things go down like in a Karanian brothel. Oh, thanks. My words I will. Walk west. Just had to interrupt there, because you guys were oh, starting hey to there. insult my people. What are you doing here? Oh, greetings. I was just on my way to the You temple. literally just... And you? Talk to each other. Is everything all right? You look a little disturbed in an ancient monster room. Yeah, so I guess in the sleep, the owned ones, I'm going to have to... Uh, Blood Moon, what's that? Uh, Dreamt of the Blood Moon, Sarfly, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Interesting. What happened? Man well, I was out running errands at the park place when I noticed... All right. Well, this is an interesting little setup that we got here. Let's try and make it quiet, maybe? And you know what? Judging by how this comes there ain't any making it quiet in here. I just want to do my little... To him, a tear my my like outro stuff. Which is maybe fine. God damn it. Alright, whatever. We're gonna do it this way. <laughs> because I cannot find quite time to concentrate and address you. So, what we're gonna do, guys, is end the episode here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have or haven't. I will understand. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna probably rest up here, wait till the morning times, and start selling some of the stuff, completing some of the quests, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that uh, next time. So, hope you have a great day, great night. Whatever is to you, and I'll see you back here some more. End all.